Okay, breaking into the bag, um, in this oil skin haversack, there is a top flap up here that has a couple things in there. I'll show that here in just a minute. But first off, breaking into the main part of the bag. I have the Sawyer Mini Squeeze bag. Of course, I've already shown this camp cup. I'm going to be making coffee at the uh, top on the mountain stream. So these are just some um, snacks for along the way. I have my AeroPress Easy Go coffee maker. This here is my fire kit. Just in case, what we have here is a magnesium striker. We have a Bayolite six inch by half inch monster of a ferro rod. This is just a bunch of tinder that I have in here. Got some natural cordage, some toilet paper, some dryer lint, and some stick it notes. And then also what I like to call the Campfire Turbo 3000. This extends out and you can use it as a bellow. You uh, blow in this end here and it, that narrow in there forces a lot of oxygen down into the base of the fire and it gets it going nice and hot real well. So This is a repurposed glucometer pouch. Works really well for um, just kind of what I've got here. Just needed a small pouch to carry all these things in, keep them all together. Um, I don't obviously foresee needing a fire kit or anything like that. Uh, I'll be taking my Leatherman signal with me, so I'll have a small ferro rod on that, and then of course I'll have a big lighter with me that I normally carry anyway, but just because I'm throwing that in there. I have another cup. Um, I've got my jet boil, not a jet boil, but jet boil like <laughs> portable stove. This little dynamo here I've had for a couple years now. It was $12 on Amazon. Fits well inside that cup. Just a pair of cheap gloves. I have a uh, folding saw. I've got two of these in here. These are the um, SL Force extra large, heavy duty, reusable um, emergency blankets. I'm not taking it out, but these are uh, some heavy duty thick ones, and they're large, very large. But they fold up into, as you can see, a very small size. Got two of these, got my fuel. This is a uh, first aid kit. I'm not gonna take time to go through everything that's in here, but I got tape. This has some of my wife's um, blood pressure medicine in it. I think I've got three days worth in here. This Altoid tin right here, I'll show you all that. See, it says medicines on it. Ignore the horrible spelling. Here, I've got some antacids. I've got some ibuprofen, some Benadryl, some aspirin and Tylenol and then some baby aspirin here but you can see it's uh, well stocked with band-aids and all kinds of other little things so this is basically an extended boo-boo kit I've got tourniquet and other stuff that I'll be wearing on my ankle in the warrior poet society ankle kit extra red bandana of course I'll have that on me this is 20 foot of paracord in a little um, 3x4 ziploc bag and the Sawyer mini and that's all I've got. I'll have my hiking sticks with me, but uh, that's pretty much it. And yeah, this is the Coal Cracker Bushcraft uh, oil skin haversack. I've really, really enjoyed having this haversack. It's been a uh, it's been a real good, good bag. Now, as far as for my water tomorrow, I'm just gonna get a one liter bottle of water and carry it with me. It's not gonna be an extended hike or anything like that. I'll be using my Sawyer Mini to um, purify any other water because we're going to be water near water a lot throughout the trip. So it's been a, there's been a lot of rain, so I'll have plenty of options to refill if I have to. I'll just boil it, you know. Let's go ahead and just pack this back here. There. Whoop. See, I've got um, my coffee maker is there. Underneath that is the fuel, and then there's the kits, and that there. And that leaves plenty of room to start stacking these other things in here. Take this out. Out there. 
stick these little things. That's those uh, emergency blankets. This goes up the top. And we are ready to go on our hike. This is attached via a just regular old carabiner to the shoulder strap. On the other side of the shoulder strap, I have another carabiner um, just for ease of attaching and uh, carrying and then any shelter. Um, sometimes a carabiner comes in handy. And this is a neck strap off of a Maxpedition bag just to give it a little bit more comfort um, while walking. So that's what I'll be carrying. This doesn't weigh all that much. I don't have an actual scale to be able to do it, but it's uh, it's fairly light and uh, fairly comprehensive. Um, I can get by pretty much um, besides not having any food or anything like that. I can definitely stay warm. I've got some shelter. I'll be wearing a uh, windbreaker rain jacket with me tomorrow. Um, so uh, that right there, um, I'd get by about 24 hours with it. So hope you all enjoy this and Mad Dog out.